Hello, everyone. My name is Alex Del Figueroa, and I am an undergraduate researcher in the lab of Dr. Demetrio Sierra at the UPR School of Medicine. Today, I will be presenting my work on the effects of glyphosate on recognition memory in rats. So what is glyphosate? Glyphosate is the active ingredient of one of the world's best-selling herbicide, Roundup. At first, it was thought that glyphosate didn't have any associated toxicity. However, clinical case reports and animal studies have shown that glyphosate can lead to behavioral changes, such as decreased spatial memory and working memory. Currently, we don't know much about the effects that, that glyphosate can have on, on another type of memory, recognition memory. Therefore, we aim to determine the effect of systemic administration of glyphosate on recognition memory. So for this study, we hypothesized that repeated exposure to glyphosate will decrease recognition memory on rats. For the experiment, we first injected rats in traperitoneally every two days for two weeks with 100 milligrams per kilogram of glyphosate. Then to test our hypothesis, we assessed for recognition memory using the novel object recognition test. This test was divided into two phases. The first phase was the familiarization phase and the second phase, the test phase. In the first phase, uh, first rats were placed in a box which, which contained two identical objects and allowed to explore for five minutes. What is supposed to happen is that a healthy animal uh, should not prefer any of both objects since the, both objects are the same. In the test phase, which is the second phase, we change one object, in this case, to the object one, with the novel object. And in, 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 this, in this phase, uh, the animals were re-exposed to the box one hour later, with one object replaced with a novel object. The time spent exploring the object was recorded. So a healthy, a healthy animal will spend more time exploring the novel object, hence we expect that glyphosate uh, reduce the percent time spent with the novel object. When we measured the time spent exploring the novel object, we noticed that glyphosate showed a tendency to reduce the percent time spent with the novel object versus the familiar object, though no significant difference was seen, as it is shown here in theory. A. We then calculated the, discrim the discrimination index, which is a measurement that defines how well an animal is at differentiating a novel object from a familiar one. Here, a positive discrimination index implies that, that the animals are capable of recognizing a novel object, while an index of zero or below indicates difficulty with this task. We can see that despite a lack of significance, all control animals were capable of recognizing a novel object, while half of the glyphosate tree animals are unable to do so, showing glyphosate a tendency to reduce uh, the animal's the capability to, to recognize a novel object. So in conclusion, it seems that systemic glyphosate can affect several types of memory, such as spatial working memory, and also the recognition memory. However, in order to obtain a more precise analysis, a larger sample size is required. For our future directions, we look to increase our sample size and assess the effects of glyphosate on neuronal activity in the hippocampus using CFOS immunistic chemistry. So these are the references used for, for this presentation. A huge appreciation for all the Sierra Lab team and all the funding agencies that make this possible. So if there are any further questions, please feel free to contact me. I'll try to respond as, uh, as soon as possible. Thanks for your attention.